It's hard to create a new future if we're living in an old past. In other words, it's hard to live forward if we're living backwards. I found in life that a great strategy to get unstuck and move forward, whatever season of life you might find yourself in, is to leave behind what's no longer working. And this might surprise some of us, but it's not just our past failures and disappointments, it's also our past wins that can weigh us down and keep us from moving forward. As a young dad, I remember slipping into my boy's bedroom and seeing them sleeping there. And I, I imagined the type of dad I wanted to be, a dad who created magic moments. I mean, I always wanted them to remember the moments where we laughed until we cried and where we ran around the house singing and dancing, where we had a water fight inside or the character voices I would make when I'd be reading to them. But as I would see them sleeping there, I remember how the day actually went, how they got in a little fight and I ended up yelling at them because it was just easier than having to spend the energy to de-escalate the situation. I'd see them lying there and I'd realize that at worst, I certainly had somehow wounded them, and maybe at the very least, I confused them in those moments. As a, as a dad, some of those failings and some of those disappointments as I've aged, I've noticed that disappointment and failure kind of gain up on me. They stick to my soul differently. Now, a failure is when maybe I failed the world or I failed my children or failed others. A disappointment is when maybe when my children or the world or others have disappointed me, they failed me. And those things have a way of clinging to our souls and weighing us down as we try to move forward in life. They accumulate over time. I found a healthy practice because I know this, I can't read a new chapter into my life while I'm reading a previous chapter. So I found it helpful to reframe my failures and disappointments. In fact, there's a quote by Yale professor Henry Nouwen that really became helpful for me. He said this, every time I thought I was being rejected from something good, I was actually being redirected to something better. What if every rejection was a redirection? Every disappointment was a reappointment to a better destiny. By reframing those and by letting go of my failures and my disappointments, I'm not weighed down moving into a future. I'm lighter and able to move forward. But it's not just our past losses, it's also our past wins, the trophies, the things that we've been successful at in the past. You know, every successful company and successful person comes to realize what Marshall Goldman says. He says, what got you here won't get you there. Your past wins or your past trophies anchor you to just that, your past. Also, sometimes when we get addicted to winning all the time or some of those trophies, we're trying to replicate our past all the time in our present. That's not how you move into a future. Sometimes it's by letting go that we're actually able to move ahead. So what if we left behind what's no longer working, our past losses and our past wins? Because when we do, we can break new ground and move in to a new future.